how to create a dashboard in Jira. Hi guys, today we are going to talk about how basically you can create a dashboard in Jira. So let's get started. All right, so here we have our teams in space scrum board within our backlog and the active sprint. For right now, we are going to head over to our dashboards menu and we're gonna select create dashboard. For the access option here, we can select a project or a group that we have set up in Jira. Or we can select open which allows any login user to access. Or we can keep it private to ourselves. For this dashboard, we're gonna select open and make sure to click on add here to provide access, then click on save. So here we have our sprint and space dashboard. To add a gadget, we simply navigate up to the top right and click on add gadget button you do see a lot of options here and if you're not sure where to look, there's a great search feature here. We're gonna type in Sprint. We're gonna select this remaining in Sprint, Sprint Burn Down and Sprint Health. These gadgets are available to all Jira software users out of the box. We'll go ahead and add these gadgets. Let's go ahead and close the dialog box. And if you look, you see that we have got these three gadgets now that need to be configured. We are gonna do a little rearranging. It's better that health comes down over here and we are gonna move this remaining sprint to the top. I'm gonna select board and the board as we looked earlier is called scrum and space. We'll make sure to share the board name and for the sprinter, will select your next sprint view and it's important to note here that it's a dynamic value that whenever these active sprint changes in the project this dashboard will change with it we'll check mark update every 15 minutes and click save for the health gadget we'll select the same board we'll show board and select show sprint name along with show assigns check the update checkbox and click on save this is a very useful gadget that shows a lot of information about our sprint. So we now have our third gadget down here, the sprint burn down, which many people are familiar with. We will select the same board scrim space, uh, same sprint along with sprint view and we'll update every 15 minutes just to keep it consistent. You see our sprint burn down here. For my purposes, I'm going to change the layout. There are a couple of different options to resize the columns, or you can go with a three column layout. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, it looks nice, but I think it needs more. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and create some more gadgets. Before we do so, we are actually gonna create what's called a filter. To create a filter for this dashboard, we'll go to filters, advanced issue search, For the search, we'll write project equals teams. You see it auto populates here in the team in this space and sprint. This is where it gets a little complicated sprint you may be familiar with. I'm gonna use the in operator and we'll see that Jira auto suggests a couple of different dynamic values uh, close to a sprint. With sprints that are close feature friends, sprints that have not been started yet, and open branch, which is the current active sprints. We will save this as a filter and click save as. Uh, as for the name, type TIS for teams in space and select active sprint and submit. Now we have our saved filter. An important next step is to make sure that anybody who will be viewing the dashboard also has the ability to view this filter. To do that, come up to the details and click edit permissions. Some of the options are here, but we're gonna select open and add. Now back to the dashboard. Here we are back at our newly created dashboard we have got our three sprint specific gadgets showing and we'll go ahead and create a couple of more. 
to add some extra information now we will add a pie chart and this is where we see why we have created that filter the pie chart required that we base this chart off of a specific filter or project we're going to use a new filter here because we only want to load add issues within the themes and space project that are in the current active sprint static type of assign now select update every 15 minutes now we have a nice and pretty pie chart to see how the issues and spread breakdown by assigns i'm gonna go and, and drag this down a little bit and create another gadget here we are gonna dive into this one particular gadget the two-dimensional filter to aesthetics and we're gonna add this gadget to the dashboard. I'm going to configure it uh, and we are gonna select the same active filter. So, so it's gonna be TIS active sprint. For the X axis, we are gonna select active status. If you scroll down, uh, you, you can see y axis uh, we will leave that at assign we are also gonna leave other options as they are and select update every 15 minutes what this does is this gives us the breakdown of a sign in series for all the issues related to a sprint to make it a little bit more easy to read we're gonna drag this down below to our health gadget i think we can probably use one more gadget just in case uh, people were looking for information we are going to do what's called a filter results uh, what this gadget does is that it, it lists out all of the issues in the provided filter we're gonna go ahead and uh, provide the same filter active sprint and put 10 in the box of the number of results and, and we have an option to change what columns are displayed on this gadget i would like to show story points as usual we're gonna check the update checkbox and save now all of the issues here are by story points you issue by a sign in status we have got this wonderful built-in sprint gadget to show how many days left where the issues in the sprint lie by story points our sprint burn down gadget uh, that shows us how they are doing against a timeline of the sprint and finally down here we have our pie chart by assign so it can help manage the workload of our team and this is it guys hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching